Welcome to this walkthrough of MPGPT Chat, the ultimate AI chatbot and AI contact form for websites. MPGPT Chat is a service that allows adding AI chatbots to any website. The chatbot can answer any questions site visitors might have and can direct them to relevant pages or documents. Here is a chatbot we have on our own MPGPT Chat's website. For example, we can ask questions like, is MPGPT Chat suitable for real estate website? And we get an, a, a great answer here that explains why MPGPT Chat is suitable and also a link that specifically points us to a page that describes MPGPT Chat for real estate. So not only it responds intelligently, but it also provides relevant links. We can also ask another question. Is MPGPT Chat suitable for travel agencies? And similarly, we get a good answer here with some additional links. And this time it points to a travel page. We can ask more sophisticated questions uh, like how much work is it to configure and add MPGPT chat to my website? And the answer is really good here. It explains that it's a straightforward process. It explains the steps and also gives us links that are relevant to this question. To create uh, a new chatbot, first we need to create an BGPT chat account and then go to my account and click create new chat button. Now we need to provide the URL of our website where we want the chatbot to be. And in this example, I'll use this URL. This is a company that develops delivery bots. So we click auto configure. And MPGPT chat will do all the work configuring the chatbot. It will crawl the website, extract the information from the website and learn it. And what, once it does, it will know everything about the company, about the website, and it will be able to answer questions. So as we can see, there are four pages on this website that it learned, and it also configured other settings like chat name, chat title, uh, initial chat message that we are seeing here in the chat, the chat prompt, everything is set for us automatically, and we can start using the chat right away. So let's test it out. For example, we can ask what is unique about green bots. And we get an explanation here that green bots are 100% solar powered delivery bots. Uh, it explains the scenario and how they work and also provides us some links and ask additional questions. For example, what is the range, how far the bot can deliver. So let's ask a different question. Let's say, if I'm in Colorado, can I buy the bot? And it says, bots are not available in Colorado. They're all only available in Washington. And by the way, we don't have to use complete phrases when we are asking questions. We can just put something like pricing. And we still get an answer. Let's say we have another model uh, that is not yet on the website and we want the chatbot to be aware of it and provide information about it. And that's something we can do in the chat agent instructions. We can add any additional information we want the chatbot to be aware of. For example, there is a new upcoming model
and let's say this model will have an extended range. So we put it in the prompt, and now we can ask the chatbot what are the prices. And now it, it's giving us the previous answer, 1,000 per month. And it's also talking about the, the upcoming model that we just did to the prompt that costs 2,000 a month. So it's an easy way to customize the chat behavior by adding additional instructions here. And we can use it for a variety of scenarios. For example, we can instruct the chatbot to do promotions, discounts, upsells, to user support in certain situations. So it can be useful in many different scenarios. We can customize the chat appearance. For example, if we look at the green bot site, Maybe some green color will be more appropriate for, so we can customize all the things, including the avatar. And for avatar, we can even upload a custom image. And I have a logo of green bots here that we can use. We can also change the cover of the chat. For example, if you want some greenish co color like this, we can set it, the button color, maybe we want something different. Let's make it something like this here. The chat title, maybe we want to change it to different color as well. Let's make it lighter. For advanced style customization, we can also use custom style CSS, which is a normal CSS that we can use for all the components of the chat. So we can make it match uh, the, the style of your website exactly. There are advanced settings that can be configured starting with the AI model. By default, we are using Azure OpenAI 3.5 Turbo model, which is the baseline model. It's fast. It's very cost effective. It's not as advanced as GPT-4 Turbo model. GPT-4 Turbo is more expensive, but it can for more advanced questions and more sophisticated questions. Also allows a larger context, so it can handle more information, which sometimes is useful. So we can use the model here, and we can use any of these models. We can also control the context size, uh, the default size that is automatically set for each model, but it can be changed. Uh, larger the contact size, more expensive each request becomes. So if we want to go to 80%, for example, it will use more tokens and budget will be depleted quicker in this case. The responses can be more accurate. No settings to not. At retention period, if we want to be GDPR compliant, we can set it to 30 days. So the chats will be deleted after 30 days. We can also instruct the chat to delete, to scrub any personal info that was accidentally entered into the chat, such as phone number, email. This is a good security and compliance feature. And also instantly hide the chat from the website. Once we add it to the website and let's say there is some issue and we just check this button and the chat is gone. So we don't need to change the code to remove the chat. We can just the chat box to hide the chat. Uh, I want to have UTM parameters for links in the chat, track the attribution, for example, using Google Analytics, uh, traffic that came from the chat. To that, we can turn on the UTM parameters. Messages per session uh, is a parameter that limits the number of interactions for every single session. After this number is reached, the chat will need to be refreshed and new session will have to be started. Uh, 5 or 10 are a good number. Typically, we don't need more than 10 topic. Daily messages per user is a security feature to prevent abuse. It limits the number of chat messages that single IP. Links in response allows to control how many links can be returned with the chat response. The default is 3, but it can be to any number from 0 to 5. And the relevance of the links can be optimized using the confidence threshold setting. 
uh, want to return only relevant links, we can set it to a higher number, let's say 0 0.8 to 0 0.85. Uh, any number of 0 0.9 typically would work, but that's something that can be tested. So you ask a question, you see what links are returned, and then you can tune this number based on what you want to see. Uh, it's possible to add a custom button to the chat that will lead to some URL. Uh, for example, if you want a button to navigate to the sales page, we can do, the, do it this way. So this is the sales page. And we can select some icon here. Uh, shopping cart, let's say. Here we have the button, and if we click on it, it will go to the sales page. Another way to feed additional information to the chatbot is using custom data files. Custom data files adding additional information that may not be on the website, but we want the chatbot to know. It can be things like product catalogs, customer support databases, additional information we might want to, or to use. Uh, for example, I have a CSV file here, additional uh, bot models. And if we add it here, the chat will instantly become aware of these models. Uh, here we go. And now we can ask about, let's say, uh, green bot models are available. And here we go. Now it lists a list of models that are coming from the CSV file previously, it only mentioned two. Now it mentions the entire list here. Uh, we can ask even more advanced questions. For example, what is the cheapest model here? So it's the cheapest model from the list. That we have a fully configured bot, we might want to add it to our website and we can do it using the website integration tool. Uh, if we just copy paste our website TML into this uh, box and click integrate embed GPT chat button, it will automatically integrate that into your code. And basically it's adding this script to the body. And these two lines is all you need to add the chatbot to your website. You can also do it manually just by just copy pasting the code and adding it to your website. Sometimes you want to ch test the chatbot users before it's deployed on your website. And a way to do it is using the chat page. That page hosts uh, your AI chatbot. It can be shared using a friendly URL link. So for example, in this case, let's create a page for title. Let's do Greenbot's demo page. On the subtitle, let's remove the content. And action upload an image to, to be used as a background of the page. Update. And now if we click on page link, we will get a page with our chatbot on the page. It's the same chatbot we interacted with before. We can share this link with anyone. This is a friendly link. We can send it to anyone and other users can try the chat. A piece of interesting functionality is the AI contact form. It allows redirecting queries that the chat cannot answer to human personnel, like sales and support representatives. In order to configure it, we need to add some mailboxes here. For example, add info mailbox, general topics, we can also add sales mailbox, sales inquiries. We can add port mailbox, anything support related. Once we save this change, we now have this button, contact us button, that shows up on the chat. And if we click on it, As you can see, this 
request was open to sales. Common issue with website contact forms is spam. And traditional spam filters don't do a very good job dealing with it, often ca causing legit messages to be lost in a spam folder. And BadGPT contact form has a much smarter context-aware spam filter. Since it's aware of the information on your website, it's able to determine if the message is applicable, relevant and actionable, or if it's a spam much more accurately, reducing the chances of important messages to be lost. We can enable the spam filter using this checkbox. And the spam filter will do a great job with default settings, but there is a way to provide additional instructions, which messages to pass or ignore based on some custom criteria, for example, nor or forward job seeker applications. To test the spam filter, we can try the following message. Let's say this is a name, this is an email, and this is some message. And as we can see, the action is ignore, so this message was identified as spam and dropped. You can still see it in the report, just in case the spam filter made a mistake, we can see it here. But as we can see, the spam filter did a really good job filtering it out. Another great feature of AI contact form is automatic translation. It can translate the incoming messages to the language of your choice. For example, if you want to always receive messages in English, you can set the message to English, and then even if the message is in a different language, you will receive it as a translated message in English. The AI contact form can be added to your website as a standalone component. It can be done using the same website integration tool by using the add contact form option. It works exactly the same way. You get the code that needs to be added to your website, and then contact form can look something like this. This is an AI contact form on Embed GPT chat website. And it has all the same functionality we just discussed. Please note that the appearance of the contact form is completely customizable. Thanks for watching this walkthrough for Embed GPT chat, the ultimate AI chatbot, and AI contact form for websites.